Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a digital magazine with Canva. And I'm going to give you some tips and tricks that I really like when I'm trying to design my stuff on Canva. So let's get started. First things first, obviously you're going to want to sign in or logged in into your Canva account. You can use the free account if you have that one, it's totally fine. I'm just going to tell you later on about what are the things that you might not be able to do with the free account, but there are still many things and many benefits that you can enjoy. I am going to be using the paid account for today, but don't worry, every single thing that I shows you are still going to be able to be done with the free account. If there are things that you might not be able to do, I will make sure to tell you. So here I am on my Canva dashboard and I'm going to start by searching for magazines here on the search box. So what it does is that it's going to bring us the templates that we can edit and we can start creating our magazines from here. Or you can even search for newsletter if you want to. You know that there is a bunch of sections on a magazine. It depends on what you want to add into yours. So if you're using the free account, I will advise you to avoid the one that has like this pro symbol right here because it means that when you're trying to edit it and when you want to download this template, you might not be able to do that or you will be able to do that, but you will have the watermark of Canva on your design and you wouldn't want it for your magazines. So you can use something like this one that has no symbols on it. So make sure you avoid the one with the symbols. And you can actually have more than just one template inside of your magazine. So don't worry if let's say you see a bunch of templates that you like and you would like to combine them. You can definitely do that. Don't worry too much about what you're starting with because we can always adjust and edit everything throughout the way. All right, so I'm going to start by adding the cover of my magazine. So I'm not going to be focusing too much into the content of it. I'm just going to show you how you can combine lots of stuff or you can play around with the elements that Canva offers you. So I'm going to start with this one. I really like this. And this design one, this is just the one for the cover. It does not have any other page. Some design or some templates has more than one page but i'm just going to start with this one so i'm going to go ahead and click customize this template and it's going to bring us into this editor page where you can do a lot of things you can change the color you can change the picture you can rearrange the text etc or you can just add more page so i'm going to show you how you can combine more than one template here i'm going to add more page into my digital magazine then I want to go to this design section. What I also really like about Canva is that when you add one design or one template into your design, you will get lots of recommendation that mostly will look really similar to the one that you're currently working with. So you can see that a bunch of things that shows up here consist of magazine cover because that is the first thing that I clicked. But if I scroll more down i will be able to find more templates to work with so let's say that i want this one to be added on my second page and you can see that this one actually has more than one page in fact it has 22 page this one is a whole digital magazine template but i'm not going to be using all of them maybe i want to use like this page and I want to add more. I'm going to be using like this page right here. And you can see that I keep on clicking add page before I click on the template that I want to use because if you don't do that, this is what will happen. For example, I want to use this page right here and you can see that it's added nicely, but let's say I want to add this as a next page. And if I click it without adding a new page, it's just going to substitute the one that I already have. So make sure that you click add page before you add more templates. All right, so this is what I have so far. And you can see that it comes from different templates, but it still look nice all together. 
and for example if you would like to add or change the picture you can always go to the element sections and let's say you want to add fashion because this is going to be a fashion digital magazine and this is what you will find you will find graphics you'll find photos or even video which i think you can still use if it's going to be a digital magazine you can add video to spice things up so let's say i want this part to be a video so i'm going to click on it and then i'm going to go to the filter part here and i want the orientation to be vertical because you know that this page is pretty long and let's say that this is the one that I want. All I have to do is click on it and drag it into my page because I want it to be the background. If I just click on the video or the picture, it's just going to show some things like this. It's not going to be the background. So in order to make everything your background, whether it's a picture or a video, you will want to click on the video that you want and drag it to the page like so. So I'm going to go back and click on Ctrl Z to undo the action because I still want this as the video to the video for my background. And I also like this one because even if I ended up not using the video, I still like the picture that shows as a background. And let's see the text. Let's say you want to change the text font. You can change everything altogether by dragging your pointer across the element and then you can click on the multiple fonts and you can just start choosing from there. They have a bunch of fonts. Canva has a bunch of fonts that you can use. So feel free to choose the one that you like the most. And what I really like about it is that even if we're changing the font altogether, the font size will stays the same so that is one thing that i kind of like so let's say i want to use this one or maybe this one this one looks nice and then i want to make this one's bold so i'm just going to do this as well as the number like so that is really nice and obviously you can also do the exact same thing with the other fonts if you want to again i'm not going to focus too much into the content because we're just going to focusing on how we can change a lot of things on canva now this is one hack that i really like to do on canva so you can see that i got some of the page in the color black and some of them white i do keep them really really simple but you can see that the color is kind of different in every page. So let's say I want to make them all look pretty similar. What I'm going to do is I'm going to search for a color palette here on Google. And let's take a look at what we can work with. So I choose beige monochrome color palette. Let's say that I want to work with this one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this image, go back to my Canva. And I'm going to paste it over here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on my color palette and click this apply colors to page. You can see that it changed everything according to this color palette and I can just do the same thing with the second one. So here I'm dragging the color palette. I'm going to click apply colors to page and it still does the exact same thing but with different touch and I really like how it looks like. And I can just continue and do that for the rest of the page it is a little bit of a hassle because you will not be able to apply the color palette at the same time you do have to drag this specific color palette around but i think this is still a very fun tricks that you can do in order to you know make everything's more uniform and looks well put together you can see how well this looks like now. It looks like it is one unison instead of like different things all together. And you also have the option to connect the link of your text. For example, you want to add some links that you can put directly here. So you can click on here and then highlight the text and you will see this link options. So when you click on it, you have the option to link this specific text to maybe any other designs that you have or you can also link it to specific pages or you can even link it to an external link for example i want to link this to 
my Instagram. I'm just going to go ahead and open it real quick and copy the link over here. All right, so there it go. And I'm going to go ahead and click on done. And then it's going to be able to be accessed. It's going to be accessible for people to click here and they're going to be directed into my Instagram account. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and download this. And if you would want for the link to be worked, you will want to download it at least in the PDF form. So I'm just going to go ahead and click PDF standard for now. I have all pages and then I'm going to go ahead and click on download. Again, I'm going to remind you if you want this digital magazines to have video played on it, you will have to download it in the form of MP4 or else the video will not play. But again, I told you that I still like how it looks like even though the video is not playing. So that is one of the options that you can choose. Oh, I forgot to tell you that you can even upload your own picture. So let's say you want to use your own picture here. You can always upload it in the sections and then use it on your design. All right. With that being said, this is how our magazine looks like so far. And this is the first page. And then we got all of the other pages here. And if I click on the text here, it's going to bring me to the Instagram link that I've added over there. Now, if you would like to take things even a step further, you can also turn this into some sort of flip book. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and click on share and you want to click on see all. You want to scroll down until you find this simple booklet flip. And with this external website or external platform, you'll be able to convert your design into a flipbook versions of it. All right, so this is how it looks like and you have some options for the effect. Like we have page curl, we have parallax, etc. We have card flips, we have focus or like hard cover. I'm going to choose the page curls ones for now. Then I'm going to go ahead and click on convert and now we wait until it's done converting. And here is our magazine. We also have the flipping effect, which is really nice. So that's about it. And you can always share it. Maybe you want to embed the link into your website or you just want to broadcast it to your friends or your customer if you're doing this for business. So that is how you can create a digital magazine with Canva. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.